Okay, so today, what am I doing? Uh, I got some of the IMAX stuff kind of done. Yes, simulation set. Right now, I have a mixture of state pool, resource pools, which of course I'm offloading things into the more generic lists, which are then properly, properly, uh, properly handed out, distributed, whatever. The end goal being like getting rid of these, and just dealing with the lists of pointers and everything will be derived from that. Um, haven't quite got that in place for the systems. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the systems, but I really want to start like working on like extracting this from here and putting it um, elsewhere. So I don't accidentally, much like I did with these systems, just start putting stuff in or these original things, structs, putting things in and then having to like re-rip them apart. I want to keep them apart from the first place. And then once I have a better, I probably much later down the line when I have a much better idea of how things fit together, then I can start like very gingerly meshing things back together in a way that makes more sense in a complete system rather than just as a temporary bring up like I have been doing so far. So to that end, one of the first things I need to do, I'm going to probably keep these things here, but I want to get basically the rest of this stuff and probably this out of here. Um, where's group data? Group data is still, full group data is still here. It's still locally here. So I can't move it out of here right now. Uh, um, this is currently here, yes. Okay, that's great. Like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so one thing that is getting shifted out or replaced with that. Amazing, we go into here, got that. We're going to replace it with that one instead. Or rather, what we're going to do is just going to do this right here. Turn it. I think before we do this, oh, like that, we're going to rejig this to make sure that this works as I'm expecting it to. After a little bit of uh, Doing this. I need a better CPU already. Um, come on. Okay. Almost there. I'm doing, yeah, I'm moving the engine. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it did. So we get rid of the original. Place it with that one. Amazing. This is going to break two sets. One of them will be in the, the application. 
Right about here. Yeah. Oh, just that. Just that. And then we'll have to go through and the test application. Which is not even being built here. Nope, there it is. Hmm. Okay, require. Equals null pointer. And this will have to not equal null pointer. This is a sketchy. return res return resource return otherwise yeah 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 that should still work back, back, back. test okay main application still works of course Lovely. Let's put this in. This is a little sidetrack. Merged. comes the interesting thing how on earth do I start because group data is still all the way here at the bring up application and I really want to have it along with the rest of these things to be kind of placed elsewhere hmm. where is the, where is this hiding this is currently hiding in the IMEX I'm thinking of a new library, core base library that has a whole bunch of things that I would move the group data up to, the simulation set up to, move this into, in fact, maybe it would even supersede this. I'm think okay, maybe it'll supersede this. I'm not entirely sure, but I know I will have a new library, which will be called Spo Simulation State. It's like the core simulation state framework or something that sounds interest more interesting than it is. So we get that. We are going to make a basically a copy of this for the moment. Uh, we don't need free image. 
No, 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 no dependencies. Oh, simulation state. Like that. Okay. Po. Uh, sim state. Oh, like sim state. It's for simulation state. I don't want to put out the whole thing. Oh, sim. Sim core. Simulation. Sim. I want to make this oh, simulation state. I'll just do the whole thing. Simulation state. Bam. A bit verbose, but ah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need this. We're not going to need the. We need foe, maybe. We need at least faux IMAX. No, we don't. Maybe we do at the moment. We'll do this. Add it here. Faux after resource. Okay, we've got source. In Simulation state. Hmm. Okay, we'll have a C make in here. Private. Data.cpp is going to be the first one that's going to be moved in. That's going to be bad. You know what? I will uh, do it the sim state. No, this will. No, no. You know what? No. That will be. But I want to change the macro name to be faux sim state export. That I will shorten. Okay, and then we gotta move group data to source. Move this to here. Okay. This is changed up to oh. data. like that. This now sitting in here. What do you include? Array, memory, string view. Okay, why do we have memory? Unique pointer. Hmm. Array makes sense, I guess. Hmm. String view. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these all make sense. <clears throat> we need, yeah, that's why we need the importer bases because if we're having unique pointers of the damn thing. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, I do need faux ECS at least. Like that. Group data, we need faux sim state export, so include. Yeah, that's workable. That, 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 that. That, 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 and 
that. data that's wonderful go down the simulation set wherever this is and say hey you're now sitting at include full simulation state data.htp mm -hmm. we no longer have a log sitting in here to catch these we need a new logger for here. Bring that to the CPP. Uh -huh. Replace general with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Yep, that looks good. Save it up. Um, mm -hmm. this will no longer be here so cut these move them up to in here test Paste it in there. We do have our add auxiliary target, so if Let's see what breaks. A lot of things will break. Yes, of course. What we want to do is change this up to be instead, you know, only build tests if Exist. Actually, that's something I should probably do. If build tests, find all these locations and replace them with something that's like this instead. So, do that. Prepare catch. No, no. I can just replace this with this. Well, I don't care about the folder. What actually matters is, you know, does the actual CMake lists exist there? That's what I really care about.
put that in as a separate little thing. So that, uh, not that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yes, 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 yes. No. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's new. This is not what we're looking for here. Okay. To make the existence of I mean, I mean, is this really the thing? I mean, honestly, running an extra file system check just slows down CMake, really, CMake just a little bit. Realistically, what I should be doing is just, I should be actually just managing these like this. Really? Yeah, I really should be manage them realistically so if build test um <clears throat> if i don't have a test a test there i remove it simple as that i shouldn't be i should be more explicit I've been relying on implicit behavior. That sounds like a recipe for eventual disaster, slowdowns, and certain things I'm trying to avoid. I mean, of course, it doesn't make much of a difference on an individual basis, all these things, but like, I guarantee that this time I spend making this modification will save me far more time in the future overall in little increments than if I didn't actually do this and I just spent more time processing and running through the file system, especially on the very slow Windows file system. That would be torture, absolute torture. So we've got, we got, some that just don't even exist right now. So what directory root do we have? Faux graphics. Libs YAML. So there is indeed no test subdirectory. I'll keep that there though. model does not have tests. Mm -hmm. Neither does this. And this is also gone now. Okay, yet another little tangent be finished up right here. Made inclusion of Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay, that's that one. Fantastic. Clear that up. Build uh, this stuff. Okay, well, we've got simulation set. Yeah. I'm not including it here. So I do RST. Include that. Close. So, so far, I mean, I moved the group data. It's fine. It'll export correctly. That's a good start. What else? Realistically, I want to, okay, have a new sim set. Okay, I'm gonna actually change this down to be just full simulation. So I can have like simulation state, simulation group data, simulation stuff. That makes a bit more sense than what exactly I'm doing right now. So change that to that. Change these down to that. These to just simulation. Oh, I need to change this to be just sim export. Do that. Close everything. Pack to here along with the simulation set. Mm -hmm. Nope, I need to change this up a little bit so it's. state technically state wouldn't mean the, also the state of the systems as well although that system state isn't exported directly it's always exported via these yeah okay Struct. um Constellation. Right. right now, it'll just be I'll just do vectors. We'll have these two. Maybe the same. Yeah, I'll do the same thing for this. Simulation group state group data. I need to have that up here. Okay. Yeah, 
these two. Deployment pools. Uh, this would become a pointer as well. Because this can be optional. Yeah, it'll be optional. Uh, that kind of these I don't really have a thing for yet. So what I'm going to do is what's going to happen is going to include faux simulation. That we're going to include. Simulation state. I'm going to get rid of. Mm, leave it there for the moment. It's not that. It's for that. My apologies. This is a, just a very plain old dumb struct. Yeah, there's no issues here. Uh, you're right, that's not a directory that exists anymore. Neither does that library. And then we've got Okay, everything is renamed now. All right. Nothing to export from here. Oh, there's the, the editor name app. That is from this. Uh, but I don't actually need it quite yet because it's a... Uh, do it first. Okay, the idea here being that I will actually just like cancel out this. It's going to become like sim state dot that instead. Or rather, we will clear that. Hmm. I'm going to change this to three. This is number three now, okay? Can't be happy. Is there anyone else who was looking specifically at? Yeah, these things. Okay. Sort of resource include um, <clears throat> loader base only has that. Okay, we'll just change this for the moment. Anywhere else?
Scoop. There's a lot of actual locations where this is being used. Hmm. Okay. Visual slowness, visual pool, play pools. Da -da -da -da. Well, I, I guess I gotta. I gotta bite the bullet and do this eventually. So I will actually do it. You know what? Yeah. Okay, go forward again. So let's just do this. Three. Three, three. Three, three, three. Go here. And what we got? We got these items. That's great. So the loader base already is a virtual. It's empty. I'm already exporting everything down below anyways. Strange visibility. So I could just do void. I would have to in the loader declare this as an override. Okay, then what I have to do down here in the application, say, hey, you know, you can just um, key initialize right about here. With these, we're going through all these ones and processing all the requests. Mm -hmm. 
simulation is set. Resource loaders too. Call that. Okay. Um, next, we'd have to have is like an unload all, I guess. Okay, gotta go through the loaders again and do that. So back to these loaders. All right. It's not on this one. Uh huh. Yeah, it's not a share. It's not shared. That is not great. Wait, no, there is an armature on load all. Am I looking in the wrong location? Oh, there's an unload all on the pool. And then the resource loaders have the un processing of unload requests, right? Hmm. Well, this is certainly hmm. I guess the only real way it, I'd have of doing this is to find One there. Now we're going to do mesh pool. Not going to be too bothered about safety right now. I know that they, it will exist. It better. Material. Vertex 
descriptor pool. And finally, shader. So that's working. initialization appears to be okay it's at least finding the pools otherwise we just really throw big errors big big errors so that's one part now we've got to deal with these finding the loaders Whoops, I forgot to turn off the, the pause. Shader loader. Okay. That's a bunch more items kind of done. So this, 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 this. Update those. Uh, no, but this, yes. This section, yes. Is section two? Yes. Okay, next part. Close the others. Maybe move this over to here. To clear that, get rid of that. Back down this simulation set. We get. Okay, we change that up. See what breaks. Yeah, main application. Come on, there we go. Bunch of items. Fantastic. Let's 
to the pool? Hold on. It's the loader with the initializing. Okay. Wait, I'm already going through and de initializing all the resource loaders, so I don't actually need to do this. I'll do that. Okay, uh, up here. Going to mm -hmm. and this is what we're doing. We're doing this. Sorry, this is shader pool. No, not the pool. I want the loader. Mesh loader. This is an incredible amount of stuff to do. For a very, this is an intermediary. It really is. So I can do at least, I want to get simulation state mostly moved over tonight, which means I need to do this kind of intermediary. For the moment. I need to pass in the pointer of the shader there. Um, same thing here. So as the image here. A couple more loaders. Armature, collision shape. These aren't even graphics based. Info. Loader. leaves these
we go. There we go. There we go. Let me double check that I actually have them in the right order. Um, down here, shader, image, material, mesh. And I gotta do image and shader, uh, image and mesh. So mesh. Okay, and I just should leave that these are the last ones to replace over with resource loaders three. Amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stage that, stage these. Okay, run. Still doing good. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that's everything for this state, state pool three, okay then I can conceive that I should be able to actually uh, not do this. Uh, what I can do is do this. Make it an extension for the moment. Um, yeah. Where I can do something where I replace that and replace that because those have direct uh, items, right? Still good. You betcha. And that just leaves that this needs to be replaced with this instead, resource loaders. I need to do the same thing here. Well, that actually kind of made a whoops. Nope. Uh, that leaves a few more elsewhere. Import state, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, what? 
this already has group data so realistically that should be that should work right there Running fine, right? Still running fine. Very nice. Very nice. Now, mm, I sh the editor maps, uh, editor name maps. Now, what should probably happen for the moment is what's. I'm going to actually create them right now. T mm, resource name map. Oh. Map. And then on deletion of this, I'm just going to delete, to delete them. In reverse order. For the moment, that should mean I can get rid of this. Of course, it's going to leave a number of issues where it's like, hey, where is it? I don't understand. more oh that was just the one Okay, uh, and then we got the other one. So that just means all this is the stuff I need to actually have here at the moment. It's all been shifted over to there. Um, I was going to say I was going to actually try to uh, try to remove the name maps, but I'm still using them in this uh, bring up application for these. Unfortunate, very. Hmm. Camera ID for a couple locations. Render triangle ID I use way down here for this special triangle render. See, that's falling out on that sometimes issue. Okay. There's a whole bunch of things done here.
that's not right. This new test should be labeled differently. I'm missing an S. It's, uh, tests. You know what? I really shouldn't actually have the S. <clears throat> okay, that. Having simulation. Removing that. Okay, I think I'll call it good on that. Is now the basis of the applications. Bring up application. Just double check extricated. Does that mean what I think it is? It does. To release from an entanglement or difficulty, disengage. Yeah, that's quite uh, actually apt. Okay. So that was the very core of what I wanted to do moment now to start I mean that was the basis now I kind of actually have to start removing these structs and then finally eventually the systems in order to do that what I'm going to hmm, I need some kind of mechanism or system much like I have for the IMEX generator and importer where I can like for like position I'll have a Okay, more realistically, something like physics, which is a bit more. I'd have a function in here that says, you know, register, um, register pools, register resources, and that adds them to the simulation state. 
to these as appropriate on the cre on the creation or any currently existing simulation states. I need some kind of central manager, I suppose. I mean, not necessarily a manager. I just need to. I just need to make sure I have handles to them somewhere. And then the opposite on removal. To be able to remove a resource pool or loader or component pool base or whatever. The opposite also needs to be able to happen. <laughs> if I have something like that, all the way in the core maybe i can actually still integrate it somewhat with this where i would have much like the just kind of integrate it into something like this like simulation not like a not necessarily simulation core but simulation Not a manager either. It's not like it does much simulation pool, I guess. Or no, not necessarily just that, because I'm also registering and deregistering functionality and much like this. Where's the generator? Oh, it's right here. Hmm. I mean, I can kind of put them all together because it's like or can I? Hmm, I gotta think about this for a little qu uh, little bit. Time for a drink. Hmm. Okay, so now that I've thought about that, uh, I'm probably going to do something very similar to this or to the generator, but which I in the end I don't want it to be a global set of uh, variable uh, functions, but for the moment, just to get things rolling, they will be. So I'll kind of call it like the simulation based sim uh, <laughs> simulation core uh, or something like that for the moment so where we're gonna have to put a lot of these things down in there so simulation Will be a class, or it'll just be a couple of functions. So what it's going to be is we're going to have a. Now let's just grab this as it is, shall we? Like importers. Here we go. So we don't exact. We don't have anything like the create importer. Actually, just make it a class at the moment. Now, simulation core, simulation. Simulation states, whatever the case may be. We'll have a standard a vector of
Something like that. It'll just be like M states actually. It's a start. A public a private for the moment. Mm -hmm. So what we'll have will functions. Okay, uh, I need a register and deregister void register. Deregister. Something like that. Function deregister. What are these functions? The functions are going to be, how would this operate? This would have to operate in two major ways that I can think of. One is I'm creating, and the other is when I'm not. Something like that, perhaps. Hmm. Okay, what what exactly do I want to have happen? What is the process of how I'm going to use this? Presumably, I'm going to have a process where I'm like, okay, I need like a new uh, simulation state. That means what do I have to do? I'll have to come into here and say like create. New simulation, something like that. This function is going to go through all of, let's say, um, registered. Registered data, registered, just registered, something like that. We're just gonna have to go through all the registered items and say, hey, I'm, okay, I also need a way like, I also need to synchronize this. Something like this, atomic? No, not atomic. Uh, Utex something like that. We do this, we're going to then run in sync dot or um standard. <sighs> Changes the core, go down here, we'll create core. I mean core is not going to be the final name, but I need something that will work for the moment. <clears throat> Include oh, simulation for IGP. We're then gonna have I already have simulation state as a for declared struct. That's fine. So then we simulation state. Need a return of pointer. Change this, we'll just change it to core, just so it's uh, somewhat different. Then we go in, we're going to create a new simulation. 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 
like that. Then we go into like standard sweep lock of uh, lock of MC. like that. Mm -hmm. Add core. Oh, yeah. So creating a new one. We're gonna have we're gonna lock it up. So we have like this is locked up. Anyone trying to add register new ones or deregister ones will have to wait. Hmm. Okay, we have this, we go through four auto. Registered. We're gonna have to do that, and then we're gonna return so we actually need to um I need to know about it at this point. I really do. Let's take the HPP. We do that. We're going up to the standard. I can do use a neat pointer inside of here. New post in relation state. Turn release in state dot release. So in here we go through. Presumably, if there's an error, we'll have to like return early with a no pointer or something. Um, it's items. Otherwise, we go here and we say, hey. The new simulation state. Simulation state. Do this. Then we're going to return that. Create simulation. And I need the one that'll destroy simulation. Kind 
have to do is the opposite void. here hmm. may I may want to ch make this like some kind of if you know handle instead If I do, I'll do that later. Uh, let's see if we can include log actually as well here. Uh, yeah, what we want to do first is see if we can actually have simulation state. Go and delete it afterwards. wasn't created from here. Why is this important? Yes, because I need, I don't know what I'm dealing with, so I need to be able to delete it from here. Maybe. Hmm. state error that mm -hmm. 
that's actually something I have to kind of look at state. All these things are currently being safely, are they? Okay, these things are all being deleted safely because uh, this is being expanded out. But that's not going to be something that's going to be sticking around for very long. Once I start clearing the, this out and changing it to this. Mm, but I really shouldn't worry about it until when it's actually going to become an issue. So one thing, okay, this is going to become that. Create simulation like that. You're not going to, nope, you're going to be good, okay. Where are the um, info? What the uh, what are all the levels? Is there like a fatal verbose? This sounds like a verbose kind of thing. Oh no, this will be like an info. Yeah, this will be verbose. It's gonna be like a of sins dot get. Two one eighty seven. Hmm. Register func, not really a register function, but register capabilities, functionality, something like that. And then becomes D register functionality.
Okay. Uh, what if I instead simulation? Okay, I do need to add. Okay, let's go down to position. Where is position or up to position? This is going to have like a reg like a core register. The registrar. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, how does this work? Registrar. Something like that. I'll call this, this will Add functionality that will mm. No, I'm actually going to have to start adding sources here Change this to be um, not that. It's not even that. It's just this. Something like that. Sounds about right. Um, source of course it doesn't exist yet so make that now there we go So, I go in, I'm right here. How does this work? Hmm. Am I looking too deep into this? I might, I just might be. Maybe. Um, do I want to go the easier path or the harder path where I actually deal with this now or later? That is. Hmm. 
if I want to do this, add this ability for mods. I could. Everything is that. Hmm. You know what? I'll just. I'm going to do the hard part because. Because it is hard. So let's say we go in. We're inside of. We're inside of. Uh, here we're we're. Registering functionality. What do I need? What do I need? I need some things. I need some. Let's say. I need something like this on the creation of a sim simulation state. Oh, simulation state. Star. I will know because this will be the base this will be afterwards so I know what I'm looking at on the way through okay yes I'd also have to do something like, you know, dependencies. Mm. And then at this point, I'd have to go through the process of, hey, I need to, where is it? Pro. Component 3D pool. What's going to happen is p simulation state dot where is it? Pools. I'll add a new one of those. I own hmm, I'm only going to do this so if P uh, I'm sorry. If that, then delete. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'll need a on this the registering destruction of things. I'll need to go through some things. It'll have to be like I need to go through destroy systems. I need to go ahead and destroy loaders. Then I go through and destroy the raw data destroy. So actually you'd have to do something like that. So that. On destroy systems, I don't have anything to do yet. State. This would also going uh, not simulation position is also going to require uh, IMAX. So what I'm thinking then is core, what this is going to become is like a struct of certain functions. systems, commands, loaders, and resources. Mm -hmm.
So what will be? This will be a void pointer. I'll take in a this. That works for C. that right now include functional. For the moment what I can actually do is whoops do that. Let's just say hey you know it's a like that. So I need to also, okay. Yeah, this is, I need to go through like each, all the systems every time, wouldn't I? We're doing that and then for the initialization. And then for, hmm. If not equal that, then we just return null point. Just exit early instead. Rather, uh, just return nothing actually, sorry. Destroy systems for auto and um, to go through the entire list of registered ones destroying all the systems and then I need to do the same thing for components I can't do them together and I also need to do the same thing on creation it's one or the other I can't do everything nicely like that so we got to do that I don't know how to do that Gonna do that, and then we gotta do that. And what's going to happen is it's going to be, you know, uh, if register dot core, sorry, register functions, register functionality. If that's something that exists, then we do register systems p simulations state. Um, not entirely on board with this, actually. On, on giving it the entire simulation state. That seems a bit much. It really does. Okay, well, destroying components. Destroy loaders. Destroy the resources. Then we're going to have to do the same thing in the 
Opposite order, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. So I'll, I'll, we'll, uh, nah, we're also going to have to create. Uh, we'll put them in the create order. Let's create systems. Create. Components down here. Resources are first. And then they're destroyed in the opposite order again. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, and then initialize. We we'll also have to like initialize them. Hmm. Hmm. And deinitialize them. Hmm. I mean, this is fairly simple loop, going through each one each time. Okay, I can work with that. So, registered functionality. Add its item. So, we're basically going to be doing this, but in the reverse order. That instead. Oop. So we're going to start on creating resources, then we gotta do the loaders, then we gotta do the components, and then we gotta do the sims. Wait, hold on, do we? Because the idea behind doing this in a staggered fashion, no, yeah, we we need to have all the systems destroyed beforehand. But we don't have to do the same thing on the create side. We can create them all because they're not initialized. They don't hold any state yet. So creation is easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. resources loaders so we got to reverse this order again and resources loaders this needs to keep uh, stay in place but this to so create
creation of a new simulation state. Okay, we can do that. Mm. Yes. Just create, create. If there is stuff to be done, we'll create it. So it's not that it's new sim state. Dot get. Sorry. Pools. Oh. Actually, that oh, that is true. It's not the destroys that really matter. It's this destroys can be done in in this crazy whatever, right? But it's the initialization and the deinitialization that really matter. Create on destroy together, and it's on the in, the init systems, and then deinitialize systems components. There's nothing to do. And same thing for resources. That does make sense. Because when I create new simulation, I don't actually have all of the dependencies. I'm not hooking them up or linking them right at the start. Am I? Not quite yet. Although that's only a, that's only a thing because of... I could though. So if a dependency cannot be found, I can then cancel out here. Instead of having to worry about that here. Yeah, okay. I'd still need to go through initialization and deinitialization though. So do I wanna save it until later? Ah, okay. You know what? 
simple as that. On create, on destroy. That's it. And the same thing here. Basically, this is what I'm going to be moving up into here. And this is the kind of thing I want to actually pass in for the register of functionality. Much like on this, right? happens is the importer says I want to register myself into this no yes these guys come in these guys are added and I say I want to register myself I call that a global function which basically acts like the class does and then this generates a generator and then this hmm. Okay, that is the thing that's being passed in. So this is what we're, yeah, 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 yeah. So we come on in, we do that, that and that. Lock up this thing and sync. Sorry. Lock and sync. the same thing really you can't do that um, okay Is, it, is this thing just not having standard function? Does it not have an equality operator? That's an operator equal. Uh, oh, and it only checks against a null pointer. Uh, yeah, okay. That's kind of terrible. Good at all. Back up. Let's ch check invokes a target, swaps the content, assign operator bool. Check if content is contained.
I already need to know what kind of it, it is anyways. Hmm. Or, or I could just do this, where I just say, hey, you know what, uh, you're a freaking uh, function pointer anyways. Okay, you all happy? We all happy. Then I could just do a straight up comparison anyways. Amazing. They're just raw pointers. You can do a comparison of those. You can't? Why? You can't even like create a default. That's probably it. checking for that if the things are all equal that means it's already here that means uh, log Should really be considered an error or a warning, or is it as a warning? Say hey, you know, okay. And register dot in place back. That. And then we can actually reverse that a little bit. Do that instead. Nope, I can't. Not happening that way. It's happening this way. Uh, we don't want to do that because I need to have an iterator for it. So for
found it. We deregister it. We're out. Okay. Back to registrar, what's going to happen here? Uh, core registrar, I'm going to have to call it. Are these, I don't, do I need to check for dependencies? I mean, yeah, but not really. I do probably want them to be a loadable out of order. Maybe. Uh, from here, I don't know how to find this unless it is a global or like a single instance or something like that. So I may want to change this for the moment to be like that. Clear these up. And just now, standalone global functions. Need to export these. So by the time I get back down to registrar, I'm including that, I'm including that, I'm going to include foe.ip. So that when I'm here, I can call into register functionality. register so 
something like that. Does it work together? I mean, it probably does. I uh, want to risk. So I just not have that here because it's not a real. I don't. I will now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Full position export. Like that. We do that. Not quite. Unfortunate. I got the include. Oh, yeah. Include that as well. Okay, that's quite a lot better. It's been another hour ten. Grab another drink. Yeah. Okay. 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 So <clears throat> let's try to kind of use this in here and uh, this thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's try. <laughs> oh, position registrar. Can I? Can I please type? There we go. Core register. Let's call it. And core D register. Well, no, actually stop that. Do that, then we go with auto start. New sim state. Where we got to go through this. Create simulation equals that. Mm -hmm. We do that. And then we've got to go through, ooh, yeah. Destroy simulation new sim state. We need to include oh, um, simulation core of HTTP. This is a release build, isn't it? <clears throat> yep. Cut this out. Okay, let's finish building. Let's uh, do it with uh, actual debugging capabilities this time. We go in, we're registering uh, like that. Go inside, amazing.
Yeah. Go inside, we're here, we do this, we're creating a new simulation state. We've got the logging down there. Fantastic. Try this again. Yeah, that's fine. Do this, then we go inside this function, which, uh, yeah, okay. We're here. Create a new simulation state component pool item. Uh, I need to actually blank this out. Resources first. So resource equals no pointer. Great. New sim state. The entity equals no pointer. Okay, well, let's get back into here. Mm, do I really want to bother with creating these here? Not really. Yeah, right now in the new sim state, uh, this, yes, yes, empty, empty, empty. Great. We go inside. We don't actually want to bother with that. We want to bother with this. We do that. Great. P simulation state component pools now has one thing, which is that. Great. We never actually destroy the thing. Reading that right? Yes, I'm reading that right. Huh. Am I just not calling it? Yeah, wrong comparison. My bad. Should have read the freaking log. 
go in now we're destroying it correctly we'll go through we're going to try to find well we only have the one that should be what we're looking for we delete it amazing Okay, I'm pretty okay with this. Let's try adding a second one. Uh, not just position, let's try physics, since that has a couple of items all together. Physics is up here. System register our. Whoop. I even need this not really I just need the need that define that okay uh, void Export, export, one T, not double T. Go into here, we've got a registrar. Go down to log. Registrar, copy that. Here, okay. this over leave it like that it's got namespace basically these um you know whatever amazing Let's find simulation set we have for physics just for component pools we have resources replace back this uh, what is it resource pools collision shape Resource collision shape. Let's keep 
key like that. isn't really a part of this is it? yes it is place back new uh, fizz collision shape loader like that Okay. Loader, uh, resource loaders. the resources reverse order so okay and I need for Simulation state, no core. To grab that in, right? Yes. Okay, registrar, it's basically this. Can I have registered here? And go down the application. We'll be doing two and a half hours, okay. 
do that. We did Corkster. We do faux physics register functionality. register functionality. The register, there we go. That's my bad. to the position for that. I'm going back to application, that, and that. Doesn't do sim state. It's got two component pools, a resource pool and a resource loader, and then it'll all be properly deleted. No, it won't be. That's unfortunate. Okay. So we died here. Could not do this. I can't do a dynamic cast. Why? Component pool base. Is it not based on that? No, it is. This is very strange. So the first thing will be This one will be for something else, right? So that dies horribly. Okay. Okay. If I reverse the order, does that mean I start failing on the on the uh, position ones? Because if that's the case. See, this is why I always need to have more than one, like, uh, I need to have more entropy than just one implementation. I need to have two to uncover issues like, 
why does it fail out when I'm doing more than one thing with it? Why? Please, like... Now we're dying on the position side. Okay, so if it doesn't have the information on the other uh, derived class, because it's in it from another library, it just freaks out and has no idea what to do. <sighs> Great. Okay, 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 okay. Question. Under, where do I put it? Wait, uh, put it here, right? No, uh, under import, yes, here. Under this, if I was to export the class, the, the base class, Okay, if I was to change uh, this to build if I build this static it may just be because of the, the weird things to do with shared libraries so if I try static and it works, then I can narrow it down to like, it's some, it is something weird to do with shared libraries and inheritance not working across them maybe. And then I'm going to have to go back into the IMX into the dealing with the visibility by doing that weird, by using um, a similar system to Vulkan's S type, like struct types or something like that, or type indexes or something like that to no it's doing the same thing it just doesn't know This is bad. Application, destroy simulator. Okay, we go in here. On the first. We're here, we have both, yeah.
All right. Is the problem perhaps that it's, is it like accidentally just deleting both on the pass through? Go in, we're on the physics one, that's great. Rigid body pool is the first one, great, we delete it. Come on through, it's not, so we move on. I don't know. I don't know. Error, dynamic, cast, seg fault. Right, it was a seg fault of some sort, right? Uh, is this actually something to do with that for sanitizer rather than whoops? Um, <gasps> no, it's because oh yes, okay, it's because I cleared it, like I destroyed the information that it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, because it's it's following through the address again, but it can't find the data to delete anymore, or it can't find the information to do perform the dynamic cast on anymore. That's my problem. Okay, that makes sense. back to here all right let's try this again that also means I should be able to clear off my IMAX thing Um, oh, side we have this we have uh, component pools great we found it great we're deleting it and then we clear it out come through
to go through the other side and then we're carrying yes perfect safe saved again nice okay nearing three hours so what i'm going to do i'm not going to commit this yet i'm still like there's still details i want to think about but i'm like i'm not entirely happy but i'm actually pretty satisfied i'm like on the f there's a lot i like about it but still not fully comfortable with this but i'm really thinking like if i want to actually have like a very moddable like the ability to add fresh executable code into any in already running system to add remove functionality this is a pretty nice way to go about it fairly clean fairly simple i mean simple for me because i'm only creating it i'd have to create some damn fine documentation but it can be workable and of course i still need to deal with the initialization deinitialization uh but yeah as well as hot adding and removing of items There's a lot of things that have been done, but this is fine for tonight. I'm exhausted as it is. Cheers.